the first question that we have is from Pooja Pradeep. Quran says sperm is produced in between backbones. How is it possible? That means the Quran is corrupted. The sister asked a question that the Quran says that human beings are created from sperm which is emitted from the backbones and this is not possible so the Quran is corrupted. What the sister is referring to is a verse in the Quran from Surah Tariq chapter number 86 verse number 5, 6 and 7 where Allah SWT says that let man think from what he's created. He's created from a drop which is emitted from a space between the backbone and the ribs. But the sister may not be aware that she may not be aware of the medical knowledge and if you refer to any book on embryology or human development, these scientific books will tell you that a human being in the embryonic stages, while the development takes place in the womb of the mother, when the human being is a fetus, originally the, the organs, the reproductive organs in the male, the testes, they originate from a space which is same as that of the kidney, between the backbone and the 11th and 12th rib. So this is the origin of the gonads, of the ovaries and the testes, which are the reproductive organs. And later on, these, these reproductive organs, the descend. In the female, it descends to the true pelvis. And in the male, via the inguinal canal, it goes into the scrotum. But even in the adult life, after the reproductive organs have descended to the position, yet they receive the blood supply from the space, from the same space where the kidney is present between the backbone and the 11th and 12th rib. And even the venous return goes back to the same space. Even the nerves come from the same space. So Alhamdulillah, at a time when medical science wasn't advanced and the human being did not know that, 1400 years ago, the Quran mentions about the scientific fact which we came to know now. And yet, most of the human beings who don't know about medical science don't know. So it was the ignorance of Sister Puja that because she is unaware of the medical science, she thinks that the Quran is corrupted. Alhamdulillah, the glorious Quran is the last and final word, message of Almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. It was revealed 1400 years ago. So imagine what science came to know yesterday, 40 years back, 50 years back, 100 years back, the Quran mentioned 1400 years ago. So this is one of the proofs that there is not a single scientific mistake in the Quran and there are so many things what the Quran mentioned and science has come to know about it today. So this is one of the proofs and signs that Quran is from our creator, almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope that answers the question.